Habitat restoration is the process taken to bring back habitats to healthy living conditions that have been ruined, damaged, or changed by humans and human activity. A restoration project would be the Tallgrass Prairie Restoration in Manitoba, 10 kilometers west of Winnipeg along the Assiniboine River. Restoration had a substantial effect on diversity and species composition. An example of habitat restoration is the removal of the two dams on the Elwha River in Washington State. The dams provide electricity, causing five different types of Pacific salmon to be scared off. Now that the dams are coming down, the salmon should be returning soon. The removal will require careful treatment of the sediment that is built up due to the dams. So far, they have taken away the first few large chunks of concrete from the dams. Over the next few years, the dams will be slowly taken down, causing the river to flow freely for the first time in over a century. Another example of habitat restoration is the Narragansett Bay eelgrass restoration. As Rhode Island's human population grew, most of the eelgrass disappeared, causing the fish and shellfish population to decline. Students and Save the Bay volunteers transplanted approximately 110,000 shoots of eelgrass a year. They had divers use trowels to remove eelgrass from sediment, kayakers transport catch bags to shore, and students count and bundle eelgrass. With the support of literally hundreds of volunteers and students, the restoration program has successfully established new eelgrass beds in Mid-Bay. They have refined harvest and transplant techniques that restore eelgrass without impacting natural donor beds. In some sites, they've had an increase of up to 68% survival rate. A local habitat that needs restoration efforts is Lake Winnipeg. One of Lake Winnipeg's problems is that it is suffering from a high population of algae. This is caused by excessive amounts of nitrogen and phosphorus seeping into the lake. The main source of pollution is from municipal sewage and hog farming that has seeped into the lake. The pollution is so bad now that it is reaching a dangerous point for human health. Something needs to be done soon or Lake Winnipeg will die. We need to think about the way we are treating our environment. In the past, we've built things without thinking about our surrounding habitats. We need to be more environmentally friendly and work to restore other habitats that we have ruined or destroyed. If we act now, we can make an impact on how our environment gets restored.